Hello everybody, OG Russ here with a uh, brand new video series. This is uh, The Witness, award-winning puzzle game created by Jonathan Blow many years ago. I actually played this game over two years ago during the pandemic. Actually completely solved it. Uh, of course, this was before my stroke, so I figured, uh, why not revisit The Witness and see if I can remember how to solve all these puzzles. Uh, so, um, let's proceed. Obviously got that little icon telling me to move, which I can do. Just walk down this long corridor. Yes, metallic sound. As I walk down this corridor. Okay, so in The Witness, there are three different types of puzzles. This one's pretty straightforward puzzle. So let me see, is it the X button? Yes. So just simply put the cursor over the circle. Draw to the end of the line. And it's just that simple. So that one's just pretty straightforward, because it's a pretty straight straight line. And this one, yeah, it's got a band in it, but nothing too difficult. Just up to the left. And it opens another door. So that's the first type of puzzle that's in this game, just uh, puzz puzzles that are pretty much required to move on in the game, because they'll open doors or open other puzzles, uh, stuff like that. Now before I go up these stairs, there is a second type of puzzle that this game has, I mentioned three types, the second one is actually right in here. Uh, there are lots of hidden puzzles scattered about this game here. Uh, these types of puzzles can be hidden in shadows, negative space, uh, structures, anything like that. Uh, anything is fair game in The Witness. Now, when I try to click on this circle yeah this looks like a puzzle here actually can't click on it but a lot of these hidden puzzles require you to look at a certain angle stand in a certain spot in order for it to work so it's not working right now but if I walk back a little bit you probably guess there's this little bit of of a round piece over here which is kind of a tip off and you probably guess that this is going to complete the circle for this line so just kind of up here a little more complete this circle like this and there he is. Anytime you hear that, that sound and that uh, glowing gold, it means uh, you have found a hidden puzzle. And it's going to flash like that. And the little sparkles will indicate that you have found, you've successfully found a hidden puzzle. Okay, now we can move on. Um, I will explain the third type of puzzle once we get to them. So let's go up these stairs. Move on. So the reason why I'm doing this, uh, witness series is, well, you know, there are a lot of, there are a lot of videos on YouTube for the witness. 
most of them don't have any commentary whatsoever or any explanation on what's going on. And if any game needs commentary or explanation, it's this game because this... Well, what's unique about The Witness is there are no rules. You have to learn the rules as you uh, play the game. So... So basically, not only here to remember uh, where all the puzzles are and how to solve them, but I'm going to explain to you why these are the correct answers. Uh, you know, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty free-form game where you can just kind of look around the environment, whatever else, but uh, move on. Actually, I'm going to go up really slowly because notice the, the, this weird, the weird shape of this wall here. Because there's a little bit of this, a little bit of circular here. So again, this this is going to be a tip off that this is going to be a, a hidden puzzle. And if you take take a look at that cloud there, it's got a top half of a circle. So it looks like this wants to be. A puzzle. Well, you just gotta adjust it just right so that you get a round tip there at the end. So we'll just kind of move around a little bit. Ah, there we go. Right there in the negative space in the sky. Just try it all the way up to the end. And that was solved correctly. Okay, now let's go back to regular puzzles. So we got one right here, just, yeah, just a regular old maze, so just go from start to finish. There, there's a little flash there at the end to indicate you need that, yeah. You can't go to any of these, these are not round, as you know, the, the line, as you can see, has a circle, so very important you find a rounded end. Like that. Okay, now we've got a wire high up, and that is going to lead us to another puzzle. Here it is. There's another maze. Okay, here's our start. It's in the middle of the maze this time. And... Right, okay. So you can see there are multiple ways. This can be, so you can see I could go like this, or I can just go straight through. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of these puzzles have multiple solutions, but uh, the game will recognize anything that follows the uh, basic rules of the game. So you see, that is valid. In fact, I can even go back, change it, put a different line in there. And, it, and the line still lights up, so it is still valid. Okay, we've got another wire. Okay, ooh, wire. Ooh, here, ah, here we go. Trying like this. Okay. Maze is getting a little more complicated now. So, let's see. Going up from the circle. Looks like it's all dead ends, so I gotta go to the right. Okay. Doesn't matter if I go this way. Or this way, because I still gotta come to here, and I have to go up. There we go. All right. Another. One. This leading to this gate. Okay. Now we got another puzzle over here, but a lot of this is blocked off so we have to solve more puzzles in order to reveal that that's all now take a look over here the sun is creating a puzzle with this line around here down and around the gate now i am not going to solve this puzzle right now and the reason why is there's some spoiler stuff that's going to happen. So we will save that for a future episode. 
let's go looking for some more of our regular puzzles here. Ah, okay, now we're getting a little more complicated. Now we have two possible starting positions here to the left or the right. Only one exit, so let's kind of work backward here. Let's see where I need to go from. Yeah, okay, got, okay, so start from the right. And again, I can be cute and just go like this. Okay, and okay. So that opens up another obstruction there, but there is one more wire. It's uh, okay. Oh, this way. Oh, gotta go to the other side here. Aha! Now, they switch it up a little bit. Last puzzle had two possible entrances, one exit. This one has just one entrance, but two possible exits. But you'll notice that there's a wire next to each one, so one exit's gonna open something through the bottom wire, and something's gonna open through the top wire. Which, uh, let's see, okay, that's going to lead to the gate, so I need a solution to the bottom, which, right, I'll just show you, that, that would be valid for top right there, but I could go past that exit and around to this. Aha, now you see, when I change exits there, it turned off that wire. Which I probably want off right now because I need this wire to get past this gate over here. Now, there's another puzzle over here. This is one of those puzzles, uh, very easy to miss because it's, see how it kind of blends right in to the stone, but I will show you this valid. Yep, it lights up. Now I'm not going to go. Ahead, I'm not going to solve this one right now because this puzzle has some advanced rules that we have not gotten to yet. You see, you got a bunch of triangles here, a bunch of triangles over here. Uh, yeah, we have not learned that rule yet, so we will come to that on a future video. So now we will come to this, and, well, again, multiple solutions here. You can go pretty much any way you want. Is there no, no obstructions in the middle? So just anything works. And it opens up it. And we'll move on, follow this path. Okay. I can sprint using... L2. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this. I forgot I can sprint. Okay. So, to the left, this fork in a row, we have a door. And we have a puzzle with lots of black squares, lots of white squares, and lots of little hexagons on the path. These are some more advanced rules that I'm not going to get into today. We will do this again on a future episode. Meanwhile, uh, what I want to do is go back inside the castle. So now that we've opened this gate, we can go back to this maze and activate, reactivate, I should say, that top exit. Yeah, we don't, we don't need bottom anymore because the gate is open and should remain open, yes. As, in, as you can see, that obstruction has covered the puzzle again, but uh, we don't have to worry about that because we've opened it. So what I need to do is... 
you know, go through here, this grassy path, so that I can get to the top floor of this castle. Walk around. Hop, go up these steps. And the reason why I'm going up these steps, yeah, take a look. This path is a puzzle itself. It's going to go all the way down. And the end should be rounded. Uh, oops. You see, I've s stood in the wrong spot. So all I gotta do is change my perspective a little bit. There we go. Now this should work. Game's all, yeah. All about perspective when finding these hidden puzzles. And there we go. Right. Okay. So we've done that. Now we go the opposite way. Here. Reach the platform. Now there is a little in the, under this pillow's hidden device. I'm not going to click on this. Uh, there, there are no. PlayStation or Xbox trophies for this, but they're, uh, these little devices, when you click on them, you'll get a little bit of a lecture, some historical lecture. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with those. They have nothing to do with the game. They're just little Easter eggs. Meanwhile, let's go to this side platform. Hey, take a look. We've got another puzzle here. You'll notice you stand over here, the circle breaks up. So just, again, change your perspective. Get the angle right. Circle's nice and perfect. Let's go right around this garden. And a correct solution. Let's, let's continue around the top level of this castle. I'm not sure if there are any puzzles over here. I don't think uh, there, are, there are potential puzzles over there, but too early for those right now. We will get to those in future videos. So now, what I need to do is get out of this castle. I don't think there are any other uh, undiscovered puzzles right now. What I'm gonna do is uh, go around. It's a little bit path right here. Yep, there's the that wire. Lean through here. It has opened up this gate. So we will go around the perimeter of this castle. And we come to a door with a puzzle in it. Okay, now this one, I can go ahead and ex explain. Uh, so, again, you gotta go from circle to exit. Uh, the additional rule for this one is just you gotta well, be like Pac-Man and eat all the dots. There are a lot of possible ways to solve this puzzle. So here's one of many possibilities. It hits all the dots. And the door opens. Okay, now here's the here is the third type of puzzle. Just these these little panel puzzles here. 
it's another one of these paths. Got to go from start to finish, but we have a triangle right here. Uh, now, I'm going to show you a correct answer, and I'm going to show you a wrong answer. Let's see if you can figure out why this is a wrong answer. So that is a wrong answer. Here is a correct answer. So, take a few seconds, pause the video, see if uh, you figure out why the first guess was wrong, and this is correct. Okay, and you're back. Well, these little triangles tell you that your line can hit only one side of this square. So you can see I've hit only one side of this area. That's why this is correct. And this was wrong because you see I have hit two sides of this square. So that is wrong. So this is correct and I believe this is the only correct solution for this because we've got all the breaks along the way. So those are three types of puzzles. There's another lecture recording there. Again, not going to click on those. Okay, here's another puzzle. Looks like the one we just solved on the other gate, but we've got a break here and a break here. So, let's see. I believe a spiral will be a valid solution to hit all the dots. Yep. Door opens up. And you can see... Hey, this is a familiar place. Yes, this is the path outside of the castle. So we've got so we've sh a shortcut there. And yes, there are lot, lots of shortcuts, lots of hidden entrances, pathways, and all that throughout this game. Aha, and you can see we've got a hidden puzzle right here along the shore, along this little pier here. I'll hit that circle. Just go right along the pier. Right to the edge. And there we go. Another hidden puzzle. Let's see. Still got plenty of time here so we can go seek some new puzzles. You can see there's a panel lit up right over here. And there's a panel lit up here in this little greenhouse. So let's do these first. Okay, we got dots again. Dot in each corner. So again, lots of possibilities. So an S would be valid. Or an N would be valid. Is, yeah, it hits both dots. Goes start to finish. So the game accepts it. Now, a little more complex. I believe we can solve it going like this. Solve that. Okay, this one, a little similar to little similar to this one, but we've got this gone. So I think I can pretty much do the same thing that I did on the last puzzle. Same path here. It's all the dots. There we go. Okay, now we have two possible entrances here. Only one exit. I think, well, let's see. I think starting here would be a problem because, yeah, I wouldn't be able to hit all three of these dots. So start here. Uh, how about this? That, nope. Run the problems there. So let's see. 
Oh wait, I know what I did wrong. Don't go up like this, go up here. There we go. Much better. Okay, ooh, now I got three possible starts. So... Uh, so I'm not going to start here. Because I can hit these two dots, but I can never come back here. Because you cannot, you cannot cross paths, cannot double back. <sighs> yeah, this, uh, yep, and then this. Yeah, this, yep, can't do that. So this is all stuff you've got to learn as you play the game. As I mentioned before, no rules. So, I think starting in this corner should solve it. Go around the edge. Then in to hit these dots. And that is valid. So, all those are solved. So now, I can leave that little greenhouse and come to a new set of puzzles. Okay, well, we have a white square and a black square. And how do we solve this puzzle? Well, uh, well, there's really no way I can explain this without it sounding racially insensitive but so I'm just going to tell you this is the correct answer and that's correct this is correct this is correct okay Okay, white squares are all on this side of the line. Okay, okay, now this is the same as this, except the exit has changed. The exit's over here instead of in a corner. But we can rope off the white squares like this. It's valid. Ah, so now, now it's a little more complicated, because now we've got two separate areas of white squares so we can put these four on this side of the line and then that lone white square can be on that side of the line so you see yep that's in, that's in a region these four are in a region and all the black squares are in a region so okay now this same puzzle, but different exit. Exit's over here now. So, all I have to do is go counterclockwise instead of clockwise. Rope off those four, and come around. Rope off the singleton. That is correct. Okay, now we've got the exit down here. So, let's see, now we don't have black squares in the way here in the middle so I can actually put all the white squares in the same region like this and that valid because yeah we've got yeah these three black squares are on the left side of the line these four black squares on the right side of the line all the white squares in the middle yep that is valid so we get to move on to some more stuff. I know that there is some more hidden stuff. Let's see, I'm trying to think where it is. Oh yeah, right here. So we got some farm equipment, old farm equipment over here. Now you'll notice we, we've got a circle a line with a rounded area. This really wants to be a hidden puzzle. It actually is a hidden puzzle, but not where I'm standing right now, because we've, we've got this design right here that's kind of interfering with this being a solid line. But if I back up, 
again it's all about perspective if I change my perspective you can see that pattern is kind of going away so if I get back far enough and suddenly you can't see the pattern anything it's, it looks like a solid line and there you go Uh, yeah, very, very, very clever right there. I mean, this, I mean, this is kind of, <laughs> kind of hit, what's called hidden in plain sight here. So yeah, it's really something you don't really think about when you're standing close to it, but you got to be standing far back, and then it's like, oh yeah, it's right there. So let's move on. Let's, let's go through this little canyon here. To this house are here okay we've got two possible starts and two possible finishes but when you click on one you notice this is a symmetric puzzle so move one the others will move opposite direction like this so that seems to be a possible solution, and so does that. And here, open. We got some lots of pottery over here. We got oh well, I was gonna say these panels may have puzzles on them. I tell you, they will have puzzles, but you gotta find them. Got here. Yeah, look around. ah, here they are on this wall. So, let's avoid the brakes. That's valid. Okay. Okay, so now that now the brakes are in different parts of the halves, so we let's see. Can't go, so I yeah, can't go up, so I do have to go this way. Can't meet in the middle. Yeah, cuz they will crash. That's not valid. So, that break, avoid that break, and up like this. Okay. See, so we got a break here. So, let's see, let's see. So that's possible. This. Uh. Yeah, that's valid. Good. See, let's go around these brakes here. Can't go up, so I've got to go like this. Go around the brakes on the right side. There's a brake on the left, and there we go. Okay. Oh, now we're now we got a more complicated puzzle. Now we've got multiple possibilities. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, we. Oh, we've got some. Got some metal brackets here that are obstructing our possible. So, can either pick here or can pick here. So, let's see. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if this works. Uh, get around all of these brakes. Okay, can't go up because of the break on the right, so I gotta go like this. Let's see. Ooh, there we go. That's valid. And, ooh. It opens up to absolutely nothing. Well, I say absolutely nothing now, but there will be something here eventually. But uh, that'll be for a future video. So now we've... So solving all the puzzles on that wall lit up this wire. So now we've got puzzles on this panel. So it's another symmetrical puzzle, but now we have rotational symmetry. Okay. Let's... Okay, let's see. We got... Avoid the break... 
Okay, there we go. Break that break. Okay, let's see. A little bit of light distracting over here. But shh, nothing too offensive. Okay, can't do that. Can't do that. So this is the only way I can go. Okay, okay, can't do that. That one there. Oh! Oh, I can do this! Yeah. Turn around. Oop, oh, we got another wire, so it's lighting up these panels. Okay. So, let's see. It's, nope, 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 nope. That is not correct. That's not correct. Okay, so I got to go up. Nope, can't do that. Can't do that. Can't go that way or that way. So, how about this? Yeah, there we go. Okay, next puzzle. Okay, well now the panel is melting a little bit, which should be a little distracting, but it's nothing too offensive right now. This is a dead end, so I can't go that way. So this is another dead end on the left side, so I gotta go through all of this. Okay, there another dead end, so lots of dead ends there. Okay, and then this one's really warped. So let's see, all this is dead end over here. And in the bottom, so up, okay. This is dead end, okay. This is kind of similar to the last puzzle. Matter of fact, I think it's an exact duplicate of the puzzle, so yeah, I can just solve it the same way. Fantastic. And that, where is that? Right up, well, yeah, whoop. Follow the wires. Where's that wire going? Oh, it's going out of the boat. Okay. works for me. Ah. Okay, it's leading up there, but before I do that, there are some hidden things going on. To reach them, I've got to get up on these rocks and get on the roof. So, let me see. I think I think there is one of those panel puzzles hanging out somewhere on the roof. Oh, yes, right here. Okay, so now we've got... Okay, this square has two triangles in it, so I got to do that. So, yep. So, one side, two sides. So this should be in one side, two sides, so either of those should be okay. Fantastic. Okay, now there is... Okay, so that's a panel puzzle, but there's also a hidden puzzle. And you may have spotted it as we went into the house right here. From this frame right here. Colored in yellow. Well, going inside the boathouse is not the way to find this puzzle. You have to be on the roof, but not on the left side of the roof. You've got to be on the right side of the roof. Yeah, take a look at the pottery over here. <laughs> and, yeah, this right here looks like a, a circle right there, and it is a circle. So you just kind of back up a little bit, line up the lines... Yeah, this is a little tricky. Yeah, it's actually very tricky. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's actually something that needs to be done. Yep, 
Oh, yes, I, re I remember what needs to be done for this to work. I think this door needed to be closed, actually. No, wait. Oh, gosh, like I said, it has been a long time. Because there's, so I mean, there's just something... Ah, uh, I guess it has been a long time. I mean, this... R right. Ah. Uh, yeah, that is annoying. Very annoying. Because it's, I mean, it's there, but I just can't quite get the right angle on that. As you see, as he tells me it wants to be a puzzle, but there's just a little missing thing. Because there's a little gap in this line that is not making it work. Well, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get around to that. I wanted to say that has to do with resetting this. Resetting this door. I don't think there's a way this door does reset. Hmm. No, that's n no, that's not it. Uh, okay, I, I thought maybe let l l when it lets the light in, it distracts. Uh oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's, uh. Something else going on with that. Now I think the thing I think the thing that is wrong with the pottery there is that the pottery's too low. Yeah, this is too yeah, this is too low. It needs it needs to be a little up a little bit so that the top part of this pot covers up that blank spot. But the thing is, I can't remember what raises and lowers that. I wonder if there's another puzzle that I've missed here. Something over here. Yeah. Ah. Now that is. That is very annoying. Because this really does need to be higher up. Right. Um. Wait. This is. Wait, maybe, maybe it's not on top of the roof. Maybe it's over here. Nope. No, that's, I can't get the right angle on that. Okay, well, I'm getting distracted by that, but uh, let me see. There is... Okay, well, Kath. Okay, I thought there was a hidden puzzle somewhere in here. It looks like this wants to be a puzzle. I mean, that's it's kind of rounded. Okay, I'm uh, I'm getting distracted. Uh, let's follow this. Cord to this gate. So we got more dots. Okay, so I have to go to the right to get that one. So, hmm. 
Okay, yeah. Because I can't do this because then I have no way to get that dot on the left without crossing my path. So I think I have to grab this dot first on the left. Then I can come back, pick up these two, and finish. There we go. Okay, now, take a look at the boathouse here. You can see that oven right there. It's got a dot on it. Oh, you got the over here, but again, just got to change perspective a little bit. Just myself. Ah, no, wait. I have to be down to make that work. Yeah, we got more puzzles or more puzzle panels over here and we will get to those in a future episode right now. Oh, here we go. Found the path down. Oh, that does not work, but but the reflection is valid as a solution. So I can get that first. So I have to be standing at the top. This big mountain. Ah. Okay. I said I had to be standing on top of this mountain, but I can't access this mountain because I've got obstructions here. So I gotta solve more puzzles. Which is probably probably have to solve puzzles that are on these panels that are scattered about. Got to find something that's lit up. Right now, I don't see anything lit up. How about on this side? Aha, here we go. Okay. So more more dots. Okay, this is symmetric again. Hit all the dots. Good. Okay, now dot here, hit that dot, hit that dot, right, okay, getting a little more complicated now, so I definitely, s so let's see, okay, that is not going to work, that is not going to work, So, how about... Ah. No. Does not work. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, let's... Let me put my cursor on the top side. We'll see if we can... This, um... How about like that? Nope. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Just kind of had to... Do an S, okay. Rotational symmetry now. Let's see. So I don't want to do that. No, okay, I have to do that. Oh wait, I can, I can, oh yeah, I can pull that little bit of shiitakery. Yeah, okay. And the last one. Uh, aha, uh -huh, yeah. Around like that. And we've lit up some more puzzles, but, uh, you know what? I think we're going to tackle those puzzles in the next video. So, that gives you an idea of what's in store. Uh, the puzzles are only going to get more difficult from here, so strap in. Uh, so, thanks for uh, joining me. Uh, hope everybody has a very happy and very safe 2023. And see you for part two of The Witness. Goodbye.